it is a scorcher here today. Well, not here in Flagstaff, Arizona, but in Texas where I'm headed. So I have to go through the rest of Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. It's in the mid to high 90s once you get outside of Flagstaff. So yes, it's going to be hot in here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I stay cool in the van, how I keep Lily cool, how I keep myself cool, especially when we're gonna be stealth camping overnight with no hookup. So I can't even run my air conditioner. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is get this towel. I'm gonna wet it down, get it all nice and soaked. I'm gonna fold it up. I'm gonna stick it inside my refrigerator so it's nice and cool. And I'll show you in just a little bit what I'm going to be doing with that towel. One of the ways I stay cool is by getting under trees. So shade is your friend for sure. Lily stays cool. Of course, one of the other ways to stay cool is to get a hotel. It's really hot outside. We're in the mid to high 90s. Feels like it's over 100. So I got a hotel room for a one night stay. Keeps Lily and I both cool. We don't have to worry about being in the van and staying cool. When you have these really high temperatures, it's just too much to stay in the van. It's very, very hard to stay cool without running the AC. Let's get that AC turned on. Ooh, 70 degrees is not gonna do it. It's hot in here. Okay, I'm gonna state the obvious here because I know that I'm going to get these comments because I have in the past. And that is, is you don't have to stay in areas that have hot weather. People have said it to me before, Amber, you live in a van, it has wheels, you can move. They said that to me when I was in Texas a couple of years ago when that huge cold front came in and everything iced over and Texas lost power. But here's the thing, that storm was from New Mexico to the panhandle of Florida. I couldn't go anywhere fast enough to get out of it. So sometimes, yes, having wheels is an advantage but sometimes it just blankets such a large area you can't do anything about it. So the other cheaper option that you can do if you don't want to get a hotel is you can go to coastal areas which is kind of what I did this year but it got hot there too. You can also find a friend or a family member who has a house where you can go park your RV or your van and mooch dock and go inside of their house. Another way to stay cool when it's so hot outside is to get USB fans like this one. This is my favorite. It has a clip on it right here where you can clip it onto things. You can also stand up on a counter surface because it's got this flat part right here. But I have three of these, one in the front and two in the back. The two in the back are placed at opposite sides of the bedroom so that I can get a nice cross breeze and that really significantly keeps me cooler when it is so hot outside. It is amazing. It can be really warm out and you can have those USB fans going. They're so strong and powerful that it just feels really cool like you're getting all of this wind in. I also use a fantastic fan. The fantastic fan, when you open a window window will suck all of that air from outside, pull it inside, and then push it out through the fantastic fan. So when you have the fantastic fan on and the window open and the USB fans running, it stays pretty cool. Now, if it's really hot outside, of course, bringing in that hot air is not going to make a huge difference, but circulating the air is what is key to keeping it cooler in here. The other way to keep cool in your van when it's so hot outside is to put shades up anywhere you can. I have these window shades up here in the front where the black is on the inside, so that way I don't attract heat in. I have these up on the driver door and the passenger door, and of course the front area reflect the sun. When I'm working up front and I have my chair swiveled around so I can work at the desk, I like to put this blanket just behind me that covers the windshield because it can get really, really hot in there. And it definitely keeps that heat in the front and off of me while I'm working. Remember earlier when I showed you about wetting that towel? It's time to use it now. <laughs> it's so nice. If you keep that thing in the fridge, oh, it's wet and cool. Oh, it feels so good right now. So I use this towel. You can do multiple ones too, but I use this towel to put around my neck. Oh, that feels so good. There's something about keeping your neck cool and your face cool that just keeps your whole body cool. You don't have to even put it in the fridge, but I choose to. Uh, putting it on your face, that feels marvelous. When you're laying in bed, the other thing that I do is I might have two of these. I'll put one on my legs and one on my chest or my face, neck. Really keeps you cool and will save you 
from being so hot. Double points if you can have those USB fans on you while you are putting the towels on you. That air that blows on the wet towels or the cool towels is going to also keep you cooler. Like, it's burning up right now. Um, and I'm hot. So this instantly just made me feel so much better. I think I'm gonna keep this on me while we finish the rest of this video. Having these little scarves too are great. You can keep these around you to keep the sweat off of your chest. It's great when you're perspiring, you can keep blotting yourself, but I'm gonna keep this around me right now. Sorry, I know it's not fashionably beautiful, but hey, this is about keeping cool. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is if you have an awning, an awning on your RV or your van is going to also keep you cooler because you can drop it down and let the awning cool your van by keeping it shaded. So the more shade you can get, the better. The other great way to stay cool when it's really hot outside is to do your driving during the hottest part of the day because then you can have AC from the dashboard on you. And then you don't have to do all of these methods that I'm talking about unless it's still hot at night when you get to your spot that you're gonna stay at. Another way to stay cool if you're gonna be in and out of the van is to wear a hat. One, it's gonna keep you from getting so much sun on your face that you get sunburned. If your head gets too hot, you're gonna start sweating and you're gonna feel really hot. So make sure you have a hat that has some ventilation on it. This actually may seem like a no-brainer, but drink lots of water. Drinking water is going to also bring your body temperature down a little bit. It's gonna keep you hydrated. When you're hot, you get really, really dehydrated. And so keeping it cooler with hydration and bringing fluids into your body is also going to help you. You definitely don't wanna get dehydrated you can actually get into some problematic health issues if you get too dehydrated, especially when you're out in desert areas. Dry heat, sometimes we don't always perspire and we don't realize that we're getting overheated. Another thing you can do is open up those back doors and let that breeze come through. Hopefully there's a breeze for you. If there is, opening those back doors is key because it's going to allow more air to come in. Uh, bonus points if you're near an ocean where you can get that cool breeze off of the water. Second bonus point, have a fantastic fan or some kind of fan so you can pull the hot air out of the van and outside and get that circulation going through the van. I'm telling you, those fantastic fans and USB fans are a must. <laughs> and these towels. <laughs> Another thing that you can do is, of course, plug into shore power somewhere so that you can run your AC if you have one. That's optimal for me. I don't always do that because one, I don't always like to be in RV parks. Two, my AC is really loud. It's very overpowered for this van, so it'll cool the van off really quickly, but it's just so loud that um, I don't like to run it. So I only run it if I absolutely have to. Last year when I was on the East Coast, it was gonna be over 100 degrees and I did have to find an RV park and plug in because at that point, who cares about noise? I need AC to survive. The alternative is to go get a hotel room. The RV park was a little bit cheaper. Although it was $68 a day because it was on the East Coast, but that's still cheaper than getting a hotel. The last one and one of the best ones that I have found to keeping the van cool inside is to get some Reflectix. Reflectix is this great silver material that you can get from Amazon, you can get from Home Depot, sometimes you can find it at dollar stores, and you cut it to size to fit into your windows. That Reflectix will insulate the van even more. So if it's hot outside, it's going to reflect that heat to the outside rather than pulling it inside. I will put that Reflectix in all of my windows, and I even have Reflectix up in my skylight so that it will keep really nice and cool in here. Now that you know how to stay cool in your van when it's so hot outside, watch one of these two videos right here that talks all about how to stealth camp and the legalities of it, or you can watch all of my secret stealth camping spots that I have discovered over the last five and a half years of RVing. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video, bye.